let's just start the camera and see where this goes. I don't know. I love Miraculous Ladybug, but I love people of color, the LGBT community, children, Muslims, and Jewish people more. Because, wait, at this point, it's really feeling like JK rolling all over again. You could apologize to Angie and I'm not apologizing to that old bitch. Absolutely fucking not. Hey y'all, it's Harriana. I'm back with another video. Hello, my name is Harriana. If this is your first time ever seeing me, welcome to or welcome back to the pirate ship, also known as Harry Hook's pirate ship. I am the captain. You are not my first mate. I don't got no first mate. Nobody's worthy of being the first mate. Um, looks like we're on a sailboat today. We're not on the pirate ship. Hey, I was on the way to go to the gym. And I um had my camera in here and I was like, you know what, let me record my thoughts and opinions on the situation because this it's getting bad. Like it was already bad. Y'all know how I'll be like things have gone from worse to worser. That's what's going on too. And if I also look a little different, y'all, I don't like the way I look right now with the way the angling is. I don't like the way I look with my glasses on in this video. I don't need nobody in this video trying to roast me for my appearance right now. So I'm gonna just do it without um my glasses. I'm gonna just film it without my glasses. I'm not getting on the road with no glasses, y'all. I'm not stupid. But we need to um uh, have a brutal discussion about Mr. Thomas because this is getting out of hand. It's getting very concerning. It is getting worse. Like I've said, it's gone from worse to worse. So this video isn't really just going to be like structured or anything. I just wanted to get on here and just like, you know, vlog type video. I'm literally about to go to the gym. And I just want to sit here and talk to you guys about this fuckery. Because what the hell is this? Like, it's getting worse. So you don't know who Thomas Astruck is. Thomas Astruck is the creator and the head writer of Miraculous Ladybug, okay? We have talked about this man numerous times on my channel, especially in my first um, Miraculous video essay where I talked about like the racism and the misogyny in this show. And a lot of that is because of him, okay? So I can't, like, I got on Twitter and I said I can't take it no more because what what the actual hell and y'all honestly y'all be getting on thomas we need to start getting on jeremy too because he's just as bad as him in my opinion he's just as faulty like why do you keep working with this man you have seen all the mess that this man has done and you just letting it slide that don't sit too well with me dude i don't sit too well with me my guy so if anybody wants to know how this all came about um there was a new, the 100th episode of Miraculous Ladybug has come out. It hasn't come out here in America, but it has come out in French and it's called Ephemeral. And it's the 100th episode, I think I said that already. But in that episode, there was a symbol in there that many people found offensive, okay? It was, I'm going to pull it up right here. Read um, what somebody had put from it because... I'm, I'm, my back is with the Korean community right now because no man, no man. And it's sad because Korean people are the ones that animate this show. And he over here telling Korean fans that they, okay, we just gonna go. And many Korean fans of Miraculous Ladybug have pointed out that MLB creator has used the rising sun flag, which is tied to Nazism instead of the regular Japanese flag. Whew. But some of them got blocked by Thomas on Twitter. This is a really horrible thing done by Thomas. And this isn't the first time people have that Thomas has blocked people. He has blocked a lot of my mutuals over the last few days after they have called him out on this bullshit. But it's beyond um just this. He has done way worse stuff. Like, not way worse. I'm not saying that this is um uh, worse than any of the other stuff he has done. But he has done equally as terrible things, okay? But this right here is just kind of like the last straw. Because people were telling this man that he was wrong for what he had done. And instead of owning up to his mistakes, admitting that he was wrong and apologizing, he just said, I don't care. And then went on and blocked everybody. This, that wasn't even really like constructive criticism. That was just people straight up telling you you were wrong. 
and you need to apologize and not do that shit again but <laughs> what like it's just really it's just really blowing me it's really just blowing me and i just want to i just want to get on here and rant like i said this man right here his little stands his little defender stop defending that man that man is like 40 pushing 50 um stop defending jeremy jeremy's pushing 42 stop defending these men for their horrible actions they know better they had time to know better okay i would have said they had no better if they were in their 20s i probably would give them a little more slack because y'all know um uh, how white people in their 20s they really are still trying to unlearn a lot of their horrible behavior no they both grown they both know better they both <laughs> they both know we have called out this show numerous times on its mess we have called it out on the pedo mess we have called it out so many times for it being racist because there is so much racism in this show and when we brought it up to him saying hey you probably shouldn't write that because that is offensive to black people hey you probably shouldn't have done that because that's offensive to asian people and what do we know he's offending asian people again and that's how this mess came about we tell him hey you shouldn't do that that's hurtful to me and my people and he says i don't care and then goes on about his way what what he excuses really disgusting fan art of the characters in this show and he oh jesus it's, it's gross it's, it's getting so bad okay he continued to bring up to him how he needs to start whitewashing the characters and that, that he needs to ha he needs to get something done about how the skin color for a lot of the characters keep changing like i don't like how Alia and Nino are brown skinned in one episode and then they're light skinned in the next. One time Nino's hand didn't even match the color of his face. Like we try to tell him about, hey, I understand that you're not on the animation team, but you need to take account of this because this is your show. And he's not listening. Like we tell this mess to Jeremy too and he ain't listening either. Really disgusting NSFW art of the kids in this series. What like, what he approves of this, he's okay with that. That really disturbs me. And because that's the main reason it disturbs me so much is because not only is the show mainly about kids, but the show target audience is children. That's very off-putting. That is very distasteful. Like I remember somebody was talking about he didn't want to put um Muslim people in um Miraculous Ladybug because he said he doesn't want to get religious, but he had two Christmas episodes. That were both really bad. I said it there. Overall, like, this man does not know how to take criticism whatsoever. I can see, because there are some people that just be blood out rude about this show. But no, we be giving this man legit critiques of Miraculous Ladybug. We're like, hey, um, that was racist. That was kind of homophobic. That was fat phobic. Um, that was word um can you not do that and he'll be like no this is my show y'all don't run this shit and then go on about it it's it's beyond just bad writing at this point because he can't take criticism on bad writing either we'll be like hey um that wasn't written correctly uh that didn't make any sense that just kind of reset something that didn't make no sense because this happened then and he'll be like no i can get him getting mad about that because as we're all artists we it kind of hurts though but we need that we need that i was hurt when a lot of people told me the stuff about my work in the past but i took those mistakes i said thank you for telling me and i went on with my business and went on to fix that so it wouldn't be like that again but no it just be basic bare minimum stuff just asking this man hey can you not right all the you know like stereotypes can you not try to villainize almost every asian character in the show I, it's just basic borderline stuff like that hey can you not write women as pick me it's like he just don't want to listen like this man don't know how to take constructive criticism whatsoever and it's just frustrating and he doesn't like the fact because he always got something to say about the fan work and the fan merch and stuff like that man you just mad that uh kids and 20 somethings can do your show better than you calm down that's the truth you're just mad because kids and 20 somethings can do it better than you people who don't get paid for it who should get paid for it okay miraculous ladybug at this point it's really starting to feel like jk rowling and harry potter where we love something but it is created by a horrible person
And it's just frustrating because we love Miraculous Ladybug. But, like, at what expense do we keep supporting this shit? Because at the end of the day, the more we keep supporting Miraculous Ladybug, we're supporting him indirectly. As much as we don't want to admit it. Most of, a lot of people don't like this man. He still has apologies and whatever. But it's just, it's just come down to this. It feels like J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter. So, I'm gonna give y'all the advice that I done gave the on um, J.K. Rowling stance. Not the J.K. Rowling stands the harry potter stands um i'm not saying to not bootleg um the show do not bootleg the show wink wink um i'm not saying don't buy the official merchandise but on uh, you there there's some good stuff out there on um fan stores and etsy and all that stuff okay just try to limit how much of your money you give to this man as possible. I understand we want to watch the show. We want to stream the show because we want the show to be on air and things like that. But at this point, I am just so close to just bootlegging it because I genuinely cannot do it no more. I can't do it no more. I don't want no more of my good coin that I worked hard for to be going in that man's bank account. Him or Jeremy. I'm just tired. Like, he really showed his ass. Like, the week, it ain't even started yet, y'all. It's only Tuesday, and he already showing his ass out. And this thing, it's just getting worse. It's just like, okay, you really showing your true colors. You won't even take the initiative to try and be a better person. You're just, he's so arrogant. That's the thing. He's arrogant, and he thinks he can do nothing wrong. But listen, sir, your show is not perfect. I'm gonna be real with you. The main reason that we all watching this damn show is because there's nothing else like it, okay? The main reason we're watching it is because literally it's like anime but it's not at the same time there's nothing else out here like miraculous ladybug i bet you that once some of us find something that is similar enough to it once somebody makes a bootleg rip off miraculous ladybug where the writing is completely better we all dipping like that sounded so mean but y'all i said this video is titled we need to have a brutal discussion about thomas because this man is pushing 50 and he still won't learn he still won't listen one thing i have learned when it comes to like my channel is that some white people just don't care a lot of white people just don't care it's like he threw in like mark and nathaniel's um relationship and rose and julica's relationship as like doing the lgbtq community a favor and it's like he threw alia and nino in there as doing them a favor and i'm gonna be real with you alia and nino are not written well okay they are not written well whatsoever and it also really irritated me how he literally put the two asian girls against each other in the show like you know kagami and marinette how he literally put them against each other and i'm like no we could have had a cute little friendship right here and you did it and now we are slowly starting to get that friendship but it's so awkward and i'm just like this is not good this is bad writing it's just weird it's just weird and you can tell he feels some kind of way anytime people say something about the best writing for miraculous ladybug is not in the show it's the fan fiction he don't like the fact that kids and 20 somethings can do better than him i'm just over it i'm just tired of it i don't know at this point no more at this point i'm just like y'all bootleg the show don't buy the official merchandise because it's just give that man as least money as possible he gonna be okay okay i really encourage like it's weird because i'm not about to sit here and tell people what they can and cannot watch because y'all know i'm a big ass fan of miraculous ladybug y'all know i'm a big ass fan of descendants and that shit racist as hell it's just it's just weird when it comes to situations like this where what you like is created by a terrible person like like i said i completely under i understand because i never was into harry potter and then once i found out about jk Rowling being freaking terrible i decided never to give my attention to it but imagine how those people feel that have been a fan of that since they were little kids i get what they're coming from now i get their pain that they're coming from okay like i love miraculous ladybug but like i said i want to protect the kids i love plc i love the lgbt community way more i love the muslim community i love the jewish people way more than i love this show okay real people matter this shit is affecting real people you don't 
Like, he just doesn't seem to get that. He doesn't seem to get that the negative stuff that he puts in, these sh in his show about these people and the shit that he's saying on Twitter, he doesn't seem to get how this is hurting him. And then I remember yesterday that somebody had pointed this out on Twitter because I was talking about how y'all get so angry when people point out racism and things. And somebody was like, yeah, because racism is seen as normal to a lot of people. A lot of Thomas's behavior, a lot of the shit is very normalized to him. He thinks it's okay because nobody has called him out for it in the past and now that he sees that teenagers and 20 somethings us are hey you shouldn't do that that's hurtful the industry needs to change and he doesn't like it he just can't stand it he really he re it's just like if you can't take the heat get out the kitchen man okay just get out the kitchen down the entertainment industry is not made for the weak it is not made for people that can't take constructive criticism okay and the thing about it is that thomas was a nobody for the longest okay i watch witch i love freaking witch he's one of the writers on witch okay nobody pays attention to the writing team I'm gonna be real. Nobody can name a lot of the writers out here in Hollywood, okay? Unless they're known for horrible writing. Like Kenya Barris and Leah, um, Leah Waite. Like, people know writers when they do terrible, okay? Nobody knows writers for all that much, okay? Nobody knew Thomas by name until he made Miraculous Ladybug, okay? And now he a little too cocky and he act like nobody can tell him no different, man. Man, I'm gonna need you to humble that ego. I'm gonna need you to humble that ego. Everybody out here can be humbled, okay? Nobody out here is perfect. I love Beyonce with all my heart. Will I say all of her songs slap? No! Just because you have a very popular show that is shown in almost every single major country in the world doesn't mean it's good. It means it's popular. There's a big difference. The people love Miraculous Ladybug for the characters. The story is not great. You can be humbled, sir. You can be humbled really bad. It's just giving arrogant. It's just giving cocky. And I'm sorry if I was extremely mean in this video. Hey, Thomas, if you seeing this? Hey, Jeremy, if y'all seeing this? But no, it's just, we've always seen people talk like this on Twitter and Tumblr, but no, it's time that we actually get on YouTube and address the fat-ass elephant in the room when it comes to Miraculous Ladybug, and it's him, okay? No matter how horrible the animation can be sometimes, no matter what the other team behind the series does, it all comes down to Thomas and Jeremy. <laughs> Two men writing a show that leads women. And I'm not saying that men can't write shows where women are the lead, but a lot of y'all don't do good at it. A lot of the shit in Miraculous Ladybug is rooted in misogyny, okay? All that pick me shit is misogyny. Like, I'm just over it. I'm just grown really tired of it. And I'm just growing very, very frustrated with this series in the general, okay? Support the fan fiction writers from Miraculous Ladybug. Support the fans that write fan fiction. Support the web series out here about Miraculous Ladybug. Support the fan dub. Support the fan merch, okay? I'm just, like, just give that man as least of your money as possible, okay? That's all I gotta say. And at this point, it's just like... No matter how much we argue with him and tell him that he's wrong, he's not gonna wanna listen. He's not going to want to listen. And a lot of white people are like that in general, okay? White people who have been racist and homophobic and whatever all day, their entire life, they're not going to want to hear it when somebody that is way younger than them tells them that they're wrong, okay? That's just, that's generally what it is. He doesn't care. And I feel like we need to stop caring also, okay? Y'all stop breaking y'all backs trying to just tell this, try to get this man to learn that he's wrong. He's not going to want to learn it, okay? That man is pushing 50. He can do better if he wanted to, sis. He doesn't. He doesn't care. His ego is way too big because he has an extremely popular series and he feels like nobody can tell him nothing, okay? So this is what I'm going to need y'all to do. I'm going to need y'all to keep outdoing him, okay? Baby, keep outdoing him. Keep outdoing him with your fan art. Keep outdoing him with your fan fiction. Keep outdoing him with your fan merch, okay? Outdo that man. That's all I gotta say. Continue to outdo Thomas as much as you can. That's the best way to win at this point, okay? Because it feels like we can't win with this man when we try to tell him he's wrong and he don't want to listen because he goes and blocks us all. I'm a, baby, just outdo him. Just outdo him. Outdo him. He ain't gonna like that. He's not going to like that, okay? And that concludes the end of this rant, mainly because my allergies are starting to mess up. And I need to get to the gym because I noticed the later when I get there, it'd be a whole bunch of people there. 
well, thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it please make sure you give it a thumbs up it's just a rant i feel like i shouldn't plug in my socials right now no nah, i'm gonna do it i have a web series called the progenies go watch that support that i got patreon i got buy me a coffee if you want to tip me for this because i forget how um they demonetize my first um miraculous lady Gug video because i said the truth um yeah, uh, don't forget to follow me on everything at Hariana, H-A-R-R-I-Y-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Thank you guys so much for watching. I need to get a workout in because y'all can see I'm frustrated and I need, to, I need to bring my stress levels back now, okay? Love you guys. Thank you guys for watching and have a good night.